This tier list does not include Banzo Kazooie, which <coughs> is unfortunate because he does came out. Um, I, I guess he does a more updated list, so maybe okay. Smash Bros. Ultimate. Who um. Okay, so we'll be going over which characters will be cut. Uh, more if if Nintendo is planning on cutting characters in the future game, um, future games. So this is this is Banzo. Okay, so again, Banzo Kazooie is not on this list either. So where is it? Banzo Kazooie. Um, I know Sans is not a newcomer, so he doesn't count. Okay, don't tell me I forgot about freaking Sans, or else I will get angry at you because you know Sans is no newcomer. He is a old folk. He is no no newcomer. They want this was the uh, newer characters on it either. So a tier list. You know, I'll just go over to that last tier list and we'll go over Banjo Kazooie. Uh, Separately, um, okay, so F is least likely to be cut, and STL is the most likely to be cut to be cut from the roster. Um, usually, um, no, 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 STL is safe, and FTL is most likely to be cut. So, these are characters if the Nintendo is gonna cut characters because they could, um, bring back every character again. But the problem is there's many problems. Okay, next is first character is Bayonetta. Um, it's C tier. Bayonetta is a third-party character, but Bayonetta games have been exclusive to Nintendo consoles, uh, for the Wii U and Switch. So, do not see her going anywhere. Well, this is a the S tier our characters are definitely going to be staying. A tier are characters that are going to be staying, but uh, they might they have a Teeny tiny chance of not making it, but they're most likely in BTL. Like, CTL is out iffy. DTL, like, yeah, they could be cut. ETL, like, hmm. And FTL, like, definitely, yes, cut those characters from the roster. So, let's explain it again. STL, definitely staying. Guaranteed. Um. Very likely. Um, I'm gonna make it much more readable for everybody. Um, meh, these characters, yeah, they're no, no, in the roster. Here you go, that's the um, more accurate. Bowser Jr., very likely, he is a prominent character in the Mario series. Bowser, guaranteed. I think he's guaranteed in the Smash Bros. games. Same thing with Captain Falcon. Why would they cut Captain Falcon? It's like, it's like why would you get rid of Captain Falcon? Um, Krom. Again, we need West Fire Emblem characters, but, you know, Nintendo loves the Fire Emblem characters. Let's look at how, you know, people were saying that, um, Ike was going to be cut from Super Smash Bros. 4. Ike is going to be gone, yeah, because Roy was cut, too. Oh, oh, he is, even Roy was torn as DLC, so, Krom, he is meh. Crowd, yeah, he's a bit not like he is owned by Square Enix, and it's not, I'm going to change this to not likely. But, you know, Final Fantasy has been on Nintendo for a long, long time. Corn? No. no. No one likes Corn. You know, no no one likes Corn. He'll pile a ton for reasons, but, you know, you know nobody likes Corn. And, of course, and next is Daisy. Considering that Echo Fighters are the same, and Daisy was one of the first Echo Fighters to be revealed, and Echo Fighters could take no development to make, 
<laughs> Pink Daisy is very likely. Take care of Doc Pick, he's one of the first Echo Fighters. And he is basically what an Echo Fighter basically is, so very likely. Doc Samus, one of the best Echo Fighters, so I like Doc Samus as a wise Echo Fighter. And also Metroid was kind of missing with reps, and also will be losing a villain, so likely. Day Kong, Donkey Kong, you know they're going to be in Smash Brothers. You know, same thing in the Mii Fighters. So the Mii Fighters, here's the thing. Well, the, ne the next, they'll uh, be in the middle. Because the next Smash Bros. game may not have Miis at all. The next Nintendo console may not have Miis at all. So, they're in the meh TL. Dr. Mario. You know what? Nintendo brought him back for Smash Bros. Or, or 4. So, you know what? Since Nintendo loves the Marios and Mario characters, they put him in the meh section. Duck Hunt. You know, he, he's got being guaranteed. He's, he's a Duck Hunt dog. We haven't, people have been all been waiting for that day to beat up the Duck Hunt dog who were laughing at them when they were childhood. So, you know what, he's also a classic retro character. You know what, Falco is a pretty part, he has been like every Smash Bros. game, so he's very likely. You're not guaranteed, Fox is guaranteed, you know, he's guaranteed. Gandalf, he's a major, he's a major villain, so hopefully they make him still a better character. Um, guaranteed. Greninja. Some people have been saying Greninja is going to be axed in Smash Brothers. Um, Greninja is just a very popular Pokemon. Likely. Ice Climbers. Only been cut for Smash Brothers 4 because they didn't want... Uh, very likely. Not going... No, you know what? These two characters. Duck Hunt Dog is going down very likely. Ice Climbers is like the first retro character. So, guaranteed. I think I, I spelled guaranteed wrong. Ike. Again, Ike is a pretty cool character. But, you know, he... he it's just too many... You know, since he was considered to be cut, people were saying, oh, he's going to be cut, like Roy. Well, he had us represent his own time and time of games, of uh, the own games. Instead of War, you know, Nintendo loves the Pokemans. The, the, you know, the po it represents the Gen 7 Pokemon. So, with Greninja, likely, Splatoon character, Inkling, guaranteed. Isabel, she's a major character in F Animal Crossing, so very likely. Jigglypuff. Even though I hate Jigglypuff being in Smash Brothers, Jigglypuff has been literally every Smash game, like, um, Captain Falcon, and you know what? Still, Jigglypuff has been in every Smash Bros. game. Unless, and, and unless some reason they want to, and also Nintendo, Nintendo and Pokemon, Pokemon Company does love the Gen 1, so, guaranteed. Uh, Joker, this is a one-time offer. I don't think Joker is going to be returning in another Smash Bros. game. Joker is a PlayStation character, okay? PlayStation character, and he is a PlayStation character, not likely. Not with Corrin, Corrin just sucks, okay? Yeah, Corrin's in the garbage tier. These are the characters that I just don't want to see in the next game. Next is Ken. He is a... I'm going to put him in the same tier as Wii U. Um, okay, I'm going to put him in the note for a little bit. Where's Wii U? Where is Wii U? Wii U, 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 Wii Okay, so Wii U is a bit not likely with Ken. Um, Capcom has been... Capcom put the... Could, will probably put the... I think our Ken's face is missing. Poor Ken, your face, your face is missing, you know. You, you, you know, gonna be enough. But you know, Street Fighter has a... Capcom had a much better... Has a much better relationship with Nintendo. Than Square Enix had. Um, King Yeedy. Point, he's the same thing with Kirby. Kirby's going. King K. Wall is a pretty weird one. Okay. People have been wanting King K. Wall. Um, he has a major, he has a major villain, so. He's not very likely like these characters. He is gonna be with Incineroar, Ike, and all these other characters. Uh, likely. He's. Wink is gonna be in the next game. He is a main character. Same thing with Riddle Mac. He's the main character, punch out. Wakayo, he is much more get like. People have been saying he's gonna be cut. Wakario is like one of the most popular Pokemon. I, I don't know why people. I still don't didn't, didn't understand the logic of Wakario being cut. Wakario is one of the most popular Pokemon in the entire world. Okay, and if you look at most popular Pokemon list, Wakario is always in the top ten. So very likely, yeah, Wakario is Lucas. This is a character that. The thing is, Mother is just. What if we hasn't even been released in America? I know Sakurai likes this character. That's why he brought him back twice, once in DLC. He'll probably be DLC character, so meh. Lucina, um, Echo Fighter. Pretty easy character to program in. Um, 
Chrome is much harder to program in, but considering that I'm gonna put Lucina by Doc Pit and Daisy as they were the first Echo fighters to be revealed, and I think they're gonna be the main characters for Echo characters. Mario and Luigi. These next three characters are. Someone actually said Marth was gonna be removed in Smash Bros. 4. Marth will never be removed in Smash Bros., okay? It never. Mega Man, you know what, since he's just, he's got, he is a, I don't like his games, but Mega Man is an iconic character to many people. So, he is good. he is a third party character, he is likely, he is not the most likely third party character. Man, I, you know, he's, he's guaranteed, okay, he, you know. Mewtwo, I think Nintendo does not want to have that backlash with Brawl again. People want to play as Mewtwo, okay. I'm not going to put him in guarantee, because, you know, Nintendo might pull that. But, you know, Nintendo does love the Gen 1, so... I think Nintendo's not going to do the same thing with Mewtwo again, okay? Nintendo's going to put Mewtwo in Smash Bros. Probably for the rest of time, so... Guaranteed. Mr. Game & Watch. He is the classic, um, retro character. He has been in every game since Melee. Guaranteed. Um... Ness, he has been in every Smash Bros. game. Armour. These characters, like, no question. He's no question. Pac-Man. Pac-Man will be in the same likeliness as Mega Man. Um, he has been in many Smash Bros. games. Um, next is Power Tana. Power Tana has been in many Smash Bros. games. He's an important character. And of course, Sakurai did develop Kid Icarus Uprising, so I think guaranteed here. Um, he's guaranteed as a character. Pete's integral character to Mario. Pete's you? No. <laughs> Pete's you is a, You know, Pete's you said that Pete's you is just not a character. They only brought back Pete's you for the novelty factor of being a character, but to bring back every character, okay? Yeah, Pete's you is nope, in nope TL, you know, nope TL. Okay, next is Pikachu, guaranteed, okay. Uh, same thing with Piranha Pratt, not likely, I don't think. You know, since, since, since Sakura likes a joke character, so it's a bit not likely. Sure, it has a chance, but, you know, Nexus Pit, he's an integral character to um, Pokemon Trainer. Another very important character to the Pokemon franchise. Siren Ritter, okay, here's the thing. Konami and Nintendo do not have the best relationship, okay? They're not likely. Same thing with Snake. Konami is just... Konami is just not a... It's just, no, Konami is... Characters are like, you know, these, since these characters are classic characters, they're higher than Snake. But Snake, the guy, the, the, the Konami, they, the, the, he didn't return to Smash 4. He only returned in the game as part by a, like a one-time deal. So, nope, Snake's not returning. And these characters are probably not likely. When we, he is a major villain. People will be pissed if he doesn't return. So, guarantee, uh, very likely. Um. Next is Robin. He is a unique character, so likely. Um, Rob the Robot, um, he is another novelty character. Some people just don't like him, but he's a novelty character. Rob, he's a cult classic character of Nintendo's library. Um, Rosalina, she's very popular, but I don't think she's an integral part of Mario. Like Bowser, Mario, Luigi, and Pete's. She is a, she is a popular character, so she's a Bowser Jr. She's a Bowser Jr. on the tier list. Uh, next is Roy. Roy is a fan favorite character, but I think he's in the same class as Ike. No, not Ike. Krom. And that Nintendo come because they just want to have more characters on the roster. Only will turn as DLC, so he'll be in the same boat as Lucas. Could have turned as DLC. Next is Samus. Samus is guaranteed. Um, same thing as the with Samus. Um, you know. Seek. Returning. You know, Seek is returning. Same thing with Zelda. Um, you know. Other more important characters in the franchise, Salk as well. He is the uh, Wow Yo. Okay, we're just going over the guaranteed characters. Uh, no brainer characters. Um, next is Young Wink. Um, would like to see him again, but you know Nintendo, they're weird with the characters. Young Wink is an important character in Majora's Mask, and that and I think they only brought him back like of Pichu for the novelty factor, so he's. Probably not returning. Unless they bring back every character again, which is very not likely. Um, he's going to nope category. Um, next is Sonic. Okay, Sonic is very likely because Sonic is a... Sega has always been, like, partners with Nintendo. And Sonic games are always going to be on Nintendo consoles. And I think Sonic will probably, forever probably be in Smash Bros. as a third-party character. But, because, you know, it's just... 
And of course, there's many. And of course, they're still making Mario and Sonic games. Yes, in 2019, they're still making Mario and Sonic crossover games. They were sad we did not platform this game. I hope the Nintendo and Sega make a platformer game. Um, you know. Sonic may even get into Mario Kart at some point too. Toon Wink. Uh, he has been in every Smash game since Ball. He's in the mix. He's in mixed bag. Um, we fit trainer. You know, Nintendo. You know, he is. We fit trainer is an important character to we era. Represents an era of video games, but I'm pointing out very likely because a lot of people begin to forget he even exists. So he can be thrown off the game and nobody will care. Wolf. Oh, yes. Poor Wolf. You know, he's a villain, but he has been cut in Smash 4 for reasons. Um, and then last is Hero. And Banzo Kazooie. Okay, Ben. Again, Hero is gonna be in the same here. Not likely. And Banzo Kazooie. Um, okay, Banzo Kazooie. Let's see what Banzo and Terry. Terry is gonna be in uh in my five uh Ill. and Banzo Kazooie. Um Banzo Kazooie will probably not be will probably be in the bit not likely. Um you know, as Banzo Kazooie is an iconic character and Terry I, I do not know about the past of Neo Zeo and stuff. Sans You know what this is gonna be Sans. Sans is not a playable fighter. 